three of our projects here wanted to add two kickers on this bottom step Every, all this weight on here thought hey why not so Jim's adding a set of kickers on the side we have a couple of tap cons going into this old mortar didn't want to rely solely on that so he added a brace there it's easier to add it now than before time, after time. just adding one final brace from side to side and I'll set you guys right here Okay, just about done. A little bit coming out there. Hard to tell, but it looks pretty straight. Good. One shoot scrape, one shoot. Okay. We raised this up so now we can float underneath it. We're going right through the blue line. I did pretty good, Tom. Did you do your corner, Tom? Okay. There we go. So we're going to just see this blue line. Might have to let this tighten up a little bit. Got these two rods in there. Is it too late to do that? Uh, no. I like that. Go ahead. Oh, down there. Hey, what's up, man? Amazing how much I can get done with two hands, huh? <laughs> okay. We'll get this cleaned up. I might have to set a minute. Changing plans. Patio's coming all the way to the corner. These old cisterns here. Let's see what's in them. Ready? Yep. Oh, God. All the way over. Oh, well, there's water in there. Hello. They're pretty big. Let's throw Elliot in there. See how deep it is. No? <laughs> We're putting a patio on top of this. It's like... Oh, God. You want to keep it? That's a tabletop there. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so is my machine gonna fall in here once I start digging? Yeah. How far back does that go? It goes all the way to that one. Um, I don't know about this. We just had a mixer sitting on here too. <laughs> well, looks like the edge was right here all right well let's get them busted open 
Yep, there's the bottom. So what are you reading there? 14. Almost 14 feet. So if we're going to put a patio on it, we want to start getting triaxial loads of stone. Oh my goodness. Got seven feet of water in there. And that one is the same. Uh, well, we didn't. I was going to smash the cap on that. It looks like it's attached. Like it's the same. Yeah, and they had wing walls in there to keep them from imploding. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. That's some pretty neat engineering back in the day, you know? So, do you want to fill them in? Yeah. <laughs> fill fill them in? I think we started getting yeah, some stones. Yeah, there's that one in the driveway there. I put pea gravel in there. It's Thank a, you for it's giving a me. It's a 10 ton truck. Thank you for Okay. I'll call Justin and get a trucks we're coming. Yeah. Where'd they all go? We had a sponge float and then he fired Ryan. Yeah. Is that sponge float still in there? No, Ryan took it with him. Worried somebody's gonna oh, grab that hook as they're walking down the steps. I saw him like with his hand. Mine's really in there. How'd you get yours out? Did it just kind of fall out that you took it out? Yeah, how'd you get it out? I put it through in there. Okay. Work it out slowly and take your float and push in on the spot. Let's get this broomed here. If you need me to do it, I will. Of course, yeah. Okay, straight down. Well, that's not where I keep them. I thought I would check there too. All right, how about uh, I'd say clean those up, but we're never using them again, right? They're all custom made. Okay, that looks nicer than just a wall of concrete. Need a hand? It looks pretty good actually. Dumping a load of stone. There must be a drain in here. That's good.
Okay, Steve, push her in. Let's let's start with three or four more. Do you have time? Steve's just getting all the topsoil and loose material out of here. Once we discovered these, well, we knew they were there. I thought the patio was coming off of the Bilco door, not, I almost fell in that hole, not corner of a house. So, just, uh, just regroup them and, well, push them forward. All right, so almost done pushing the topsoil. I have a little bit more digging to do next to the sidewalk here. The guys are just getting started rubbing and edging the steps. Justin from Frankenstein here is here with another 10 ton of limestone and this camera is about to die. Load number three. Good. What are we guessing? Five loads? Uh, yeah, bring them back. I think uh, he's turning a little bit. Yeah, he's got a foot over there. Let it fly, buddy! So we can't all wait to see this water come gushing out. It's all going in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Is that cool? <laughs> Okay, Justin. Yeah. Well, we might be getting close. I don't know. We got a ways to go. All right. You with us all day here? We got to fill this whole area in. All right. See you in 10 minutes. Yeah. So Steve's going to push some stone in and he's going to save some stone and get this stoned in so that we don't get Justin all muddy and tracking it out onto the road. So pulling this off. How are we looking there? Oh, nice. Let's go on these steps. Things are starting to come together. That pop step off.
That is crazy. There's the hole. This one's getting filled. And Matt's saying we got water. <laughs> I see water down here. Holy cow! Okay, going up, going in this one. It goes away real fast. More drain this side, not too bad. Yeah, you can hear it flowing in there. Yuck. Okay. All right, you on the road yet? Let's go. You want numbers? Let's switch to twos. Twos. Yeah. Keep it coming. You good on time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Coming together, I'll talk to you in a second. Need a row here if we got it. Yeah, these are our grade pins. Trip on the wire. We want to keep it about four to six inches away from the form. Tuck the little piece under the big one. What kind of grid do you want going on your rod? How about three foot? Yes. Hey, uh, yeah, one more piece coming in this corner. Yep. Looking good. All wired up. Just cutting everything to fit. This will be our morning pour. It's getting a little hot and this got a little more involved. So we lost some time today. Uh, so again, that's, we just back it up till tomorrow. Push and pull. Okay, one last look at it for today before we move on to our next project. Getting everything tied up, ready to go for tomorrow. All our intersections, all our two foot laps. Make sure these are tight. Uh, tomorrow we'll put this up on chairs. Easy pour, pull the mixer in. We're even gonna maybe pull them around the side and shoot all of that. So all we have to wheelbarrow is that section right there. We are ready for an easy batch of concrete, so that would be nice. Okay, moving on. You guessed it, next project. 